So what's All going right. on? Alright. Now, Carolyn's going to get Kodiak out. Kodiak was a hotshot show dog. All he knew was to challenge the other dogs and to be out there and say, I'm a winner. Well, if he's a winner, then everybody else is a loser, aren't they? And that isn't how the world works. So, at this point, he's not been in group classes that much. See him look at that Airedale? Yeah, no. Sure, but what he's looking at that dog for is to spar with it. So in this day of transition, Kate's making a transition, doing very well. She's following me, she's keeping track of me, and she's not bugging everybody like she wants to. That's been the push because she's at that level. I want her up here with me. If I have something to do, she better be paying attention to me, not everybody else. All right, so the, what we do here is a little accountability. Good job. So Carolyn's going to walk up towards dogs, and when he loses attention, if you want to get a regular working lead, Carolyn, it might be easier for you. Now remember, he sees every dog in here as a threat. This happens when dogs go to dog parks and they are the toughest guy in the sky. They are allowed to take over the dog park. This is exactly what happens. You've got the show attitude. There. Good job. So my advice to fixing this is to use those big distractions much better. Use those big distractions as a training tool, not as fun for the dog. Nice job, good boy. Good, come on. That dog should not be going forward to try to get another dog or a person. This nonsense of letting everybody pet your dog, that's not right. No more than it is for a child to go up to every stranger and get a hug. Good boy. I don't care if there's good smells on the floor. Good job, that's a good boy. Now you're going to carry it further. You're going to go up and shake hands with people. So you'll shorten your lead just a shade. You see? Because you're going to be very rude and, take, and take off the second aid. Good. None of his business if Carolyn shakes hands with people. This is such an important concept. Everybody walks up. Can I pet your dog? They want to say hi. No, they don't. Leave my dog alone. That's a pet demeanor. You see that dog coming down. So pretty. Thank you. Good job. Good easy. Good way. Good. Good boy. Handsome dog. Wait. But you know what? When all the show career is done and you quit stripping them and do that, you got to live with them. Or you've signed a death warrant. Good job. Wait. Hello. Good to see you. Good this is wait. Good job. Good boy. Good boy. Good, he's good job. Lot. He's not getting enough of the structure. It's all about. Good job. Good boy. Wait. It's got nothing to do with heel and any obedience. It's got to do with attitude. Now loosen up your lead a little bit and do it with a really long line. This simulates the dog being off lead. Wait. Now drop the lead and talk to him like you got. This again is a transition. Not take the lead off. Wait. Practice what you've established as normal. Good boy. Good job, Cody. Good boy. That's a nice Okay, oh, I'm sorry, Kate. Good job, Wait. 
Now, the only thing George wants in this dog is a dog that is polite and a good pet. What do you think? Wait. And he can breed a few females. Leave it. Good, leave it. Back off. Wait. Good boy. Kate, leave it. Back off. Kate, leave it. Good boy. Wait. The foot was Wait. involved. The other dog was involved. This is why I like a loose dog when I train. I miss the horrible old Z so bad for this reason. <laughs> Good boy. Now you can see him start to get lax. There. That line allows you to keep him sharp. This is your issue that you came to me today. Right here. There you go. Easy. Easy. Now when he gets handled, you can see him come up. Good boy. So, You've seen the patience. You've seen the handling. Good and you've seen the walking on the lead. That's the three pieces together. And the transition made between the three. Wait. Good way. How's that look, Kelleen? Good. You had Airedale. Good job. Now, too much of this, the dog will get more and more lax. He's had enough of this. He needs to go back to the wall. That makes sense to everybody? Before okay. we started the class, I went around and I talked to everybody, you know, about what they needed in their dog. All right. Um, most of them are too much freedom, um, lack of a little bit of consistency, um, Mm, you know, just giving them a pass on a lot of things, not keeping them social. With weather that's that cold, it's tough. So what we've done to right now has kind of answered most of them. We have another one, though. Very common in happy dogs, but really a death warrant if it's not dealt with. So that is etiquette at a door. Now, Lucy's the poster child for having attitude. So we're going to get things set up, and then we're going to learn about teaching your dog to be appropriate and respectful at going in of door or out of. So, got to take a minute here. Be right back. We're going to get him, take him. Now, Lucy is a very nice dog. Um, I would bet she's probably a little better behaved at home than she is here because there aren't the distractions at home. That doesn't mean she's better at home. It means without the distractions, she's okay. So if I never go there, I don't do. If I, you know, it... It's dependent on something else, and then you're good. Training really, truly, is to condition a dog to do it anywhere. It's just like us. You, you know your job no matter what's going on. Doesn't mean you do it good, but you know the job. So when we start with that attitude where Lucy challenges you periodically when you're here, and it's just for fun, she wants you to lighten up. You, you try so hard, just like somebody else we know. You two are a good pair. You try so hard, and she's saying, get over it. Come on, it's not that big a deal. But you're trying so hard to do it right, and oftentimes it's because I set the bar up pretty high, so when you come in here, you're trying really hard so that I don't single you out, and then I single you out, and then it's embarrassing, and then, okay. Truthfully, I only bother with people I care about. You know that. Chris has done a wonderful job with this dog. It's the tweaking. It's just like Kate. 
Now that I'm really getting into training, she's tied. I don't want her to make a mistake. So one of the common problems is we don't tie them enough. So in the case of a dog that you want to protect you, I want that dog to protect me, so I leave it loose. Well, what happens when somebody comes? The dog's all over them. I correct them. What are you correcting them for? Exactly what you want them to do. The, the basic life-saving exercises that I teach. Come on. Easy. Wait. With me. Settle. Mine. Good dog. She knows those words. Whether she chooses to do them or not depends on how much respect she has for the person saying it. Now Lucy pulled a biggie. She'd done it twice. First time it was fine. Dog bolted out door. We've never had the problem. No, because you've never been in the situation. But the first time she did it, she came back. Cool. Hmm. I wonder what happens if I don't come back. So the first time she did it was the problem. The second time she did it was reinforcement. And this is where a lot of happy dogs end up to be. You are too close to that dog, Kathy. He is bugging you. You're sitting there with that second line in your hand, and he is bugging you. There you go. If you go into a restaurant, he better not be doing that. That's what I was talking about right there. We have to be one eye on that dog all the time. It's like having a kid with you. Hamlet, settle. Thank you. It's got to be that way. There you go. So, we established control first. Then we add handling. Now we're going to walk on the lead. Okay. Now the line is just an extension of our arm. So when we take the line off, we are saying to the dog, have at it. When Kodiak was working, he dragged the line. There was no question because Carolyn took her foot and scooted that thing, gave him a correction, or picked it up and gave him a good correction. If that line would have been off, we'd have had a fight over there. He would have chosen that great day, and he would have gone for the pit bull. And he absolutely would have come. He tried to come over here, but he sparred, and Cooper didn't do anything, so he was nothing. Sparring, by the way, saves dog fights. But those big boys, don't you hate it when people do that to you, Matthew? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's the same thing. We don't back down. That's right. Well, it shows weakness. Easy. Good. So we establish accountability just like in Kodiak. Ha ha ha. Good choice. You hold her on a short line way too much. You're trying to keep really tight control. If somebody kept tight control like that of you, you would resent them. All right, so we've already established I've got pretty good control. I do. Now our goal is that we have control of that door. All this is working up to them. Because if there's company, wait. This is how it should look. This is how it should look when the pizza comes. This is how it should look when guests come. This is how it looks. So if you're struggling, you're not in charge. Right. Now, our first, our first issue is, I don't want this dog running out the door or thinking she can run out the door because I'm not going to put up with her. So that's the first.
first thing we have to deal with because if we can't deal with that, none of the rest of the training is going to fit. She's always got it in her mind. Yeah, you think you got this. Okay, you can tell me to wait, but boy, you just wait. <laughs> Honey, you just think you're smarter than me. Good dog. Now I have a nail over here. Handy dandy little object. Actually need a ring. Okay. Anyway. Easy. And just accidentally, the door <coughs> opens. She didn't even run out for me. Good girl, Luz. Easy. Far enough. Come on, Luz. Come on. Lucy, come on. Good girl. If you want your dog to walk to the car, <coughs> have a line that is long as you want it to be. Because she wants the game. You're making, you're letting her play a game. No. You want to run out the door? Go, stupid. Darn, that wasn't fun at all. When you are working with your dog, have a line that goes halfway to the mailbox. You go out the door, tell her, come on, easy. Before she hits the end of the line, shut the door. You wait. You walk forward, get the mail box, or get the mail. Walk back to the dog. Tell, Good, wait. Come on. Don't fight with them. You can't have that. So the first day she runs out the door and she says, "Whoa, you can't take care of that." All right. You let her run out before she hits the end of that line. You say, wait, oh, it just happens to be by the car. Wait. You load that scooter, that chair. You, She's waiting there for you. You get done. Okay, load up. There's no way you fight with a dog. A person, Julia can't fight with this dog. How simple. So as she blows out the door, wait, look, oh, all right, not a problem. It's not a game anymore. You're taking the fun out of it. You're taking the challenge out of it. It's a strategy game for her. Oh, all right. Let's watch mom get upset. Okay. Hey, Luce. Good girl. You ready? Okay. One. Fair enough. She can go up when it's raining. I don't want to go. <laughs> now, that is basically like either firing or giving them a suspension. Go on away from me. The other thing you can do with a dog that won't leave the door. Pick a tree, pick a piece of a fence post, something. Run a long line from here around there, and you say, get out there and go do your business or whatever you want to say. They go out there, hurry up. When they get done, raining, snowing, sleeting, I don't care. When they go, they come back and they're happy. No way do you fight with them. This nonsense of taking them for a walk until they potty, that's crazy. No dog is going to hurry up and go to the bathroom. They're going to hold it as long as they possibly can because they like the walk. You're rewarding them for having bladder control. Now, and again, we choose our distance. This is very important because a child should be able to back your dog off too. So the word that she's not learned yet I probably said it, but it's back off. 
just like you'd say to a child. Now the beauty of this is, you can be tough with a dog and a kid already knows what it means. So when a child has watched you back off, oh, all right, and they see the dog do it, okay, I'll do it too. So you teach those harder lessons for a child via the dog. Your boys will know that that goes. And it's a much more positive way than a threat or a, you know, scaring them. That's Evelyn too. Evelyn's a very soft child. You start, back off. Lucy's not. She's goofy. You ready? You want to learn to be a good dog? I thought so. <laughs> now, because dogs don't see orange very well, you think of camouflage, or when you hunt, when people hunt, it's red and orange. So she sees movement, but she doesn't see the vivid colors. It's your advantage, it's noise. Lucy, what a good dog. Come on. Everything's very controlled, not frantic, not while you need it, but set up so you can teach it before you need it. Right. Back off. Hi there. Yeah, bring back off. <laughs> on her post. That's what she should do. It's exactly what she should do. I don't care if she's sitting on there. I don't care where she is, but she's going to stay within this lane. I don't want the dog to go hide. I don't want the dog to go away. I don't want the dog to go hide under or something. I don't want the dog in its crate. I want the dog right there. make sense to everybody? Now that bat is not a forever thing, although it can stand right there by your door. It is a useful tool. So once we teach, come on babe, come on. Good back off, you did good. Come on. This works. Hey, back off, back. Back off, back, back off. It works with people. It works with other dogs. It works with a skunk. It works with anything. You want the dog moving away. Leave it just says, okay. Leave it means just don't touch it, but I can still stand here and vulture look. Okay, back off means just what it says. With no effort. Good dog. Come here. Hey. Good. Come on. Come on. Come on. Now eventually, you can get a dog to back away from a person. So, why don't you scoot your chair out just a little bit, Carol. Now, at this point, if we needed to, Carolyn could hold that bat. I could say back off. So if somebody, somebody was hurt and the paramedics were there, even your own service dog. Tell her back off. Back off. Back off. Back off. Good back off. There. So you need somebody working the line. But that should be backed up if that's a child. Good girl. She's just learning this. She's, no, you're not going to go on that page.
Now, if you, in fact, work this way, you will never have the problem at the door. My dog jumps on everybody. That's not your problem. Your problem is the dog is making a game of people coming through the door. No, you got more problems than just jumping. So, when I work dogs, the rule is, good girl, come on. If the dog's being good, and she is, come on, babe. easy, good, easy. Easy is the go-to word every time the dog goes out the door. I don't care if I've got my hands full of potato salad, whatever, but that dog does easy out the door. None of this slamming out the door to go chase the squirrels. Easy. You wouldn't let a child leave your house that way, you don't let a kid leave. You don't let a dog leave that way. You make Evelyn be polite at the door, you let the dog be stupid. Lucy, come on. Hey, come on. Hurry up. Get in here. Good girl. I don't have any problem getting her in. <laughs> well, actually, at this point, that needs to be there. Because now we're having, she knows what it is now. We're not teaching anymore. Now it's, come here. Get up Wait. And before she'd go through the door, good wait. Come on, babe. intense in my room. Or if she's really being a turkey. Come here. Honey. Back off. Back. Back. Sometimes I forget. What's our problem at the door? The more chaos, the more activity, the more fun you have, the less calm your dog will be. Now, I've always liked Lucy. It's very hard to keep my hands off from her because you get frustrated with her. This is the dog I see. When you see her this way, she's really pretty. Good girl. Now, I told her the word I just taught her. She's not touching me, is she? And I'm not even holding her. Are you good? So if I have the ability to actually back her off, this is a reward, isn't it? It's not her demanding attention. It's me deciding to let her come into the executive office. This is what it, this is why I didn't want you gushing over that thing in the beginning. Hey you. Hi. Good dog. This is the dog you want. I don't know what you could want, I mean, but it's, you have to work her so that this is the dog 